Philip Guston's head, too, is one of the most poignant drawings in the National Gallery's collection and gives us a great insight into how to be an ally. In the 1970s, after a period in which he had established himself as one of the foremost abstract painters of the New York School, alongside people like Jackson Pollock, Willem de Kooning, and others, Philip Guston made a kind of U-turn in his art. He showed a series of paintings at the Marlborough Gallery that completely rejected abstraction and turned towards figuration, which was shocking enough. But the subject matter that he chose to treat was even more surprising. This was a series of bumbling keystone cops driving around in old jalopies, smoking stogie cigars, but they were dressed in Ku Klux Klan costumes. They were cartoonish, they were funny, they were meant to kneecap the Ku Klux Klan with humor, emptying them of their terrifying history and their history of violence and devastation. And I think what makes these paintings and the drawings that go along with them unique in the history of American art is his willingness as a white Jewish American to explore his own complicity in the white supremacy that he was seeing in the world around him. He was looking at himself and thinking about how he contributed, how he was complacent in the face of the racial inequality and the racial violence that had really devastated the country and became especially apparent in the 1960s. Many of these paintings that Guston made could be considered self-portraits, especially one in which he's actually portraying a Ku Klux Klan person in their studio making a painting. This drawing head that's in the National Gallery's collection is one of these self-portraits that Guston did. If you look at its eyes, you see that they're almost mournful, that they're almost about to burst into tears. This picture is a picture of self-reflection. And here is Guston, I think, coming to terms with what he saw as his own measure of guilt in relation to histories that he would otherwise abhor. Guston wasn't burning crosses or committing heinous acts of violence, but he understood his complacency, fiddling with abstraction while the world burned, as complicity. What kind of man am I, sitting at home, reading magazines, going into a frustrated fury about everything, and then going into my studio to adjust a red to a blue, he said in 1977. I think that Guston's drawing acts as a powerful reminder to us, those of us who really want to fight racial inequality in this country, by reminding us that our first job is to examine our own complicity in relation to the systems that produce such violence. Even for a person like me, who's not white, but is also not black, um, our position in relation to those systems is especially important to unravel and reject. Mm -hmm. 